Hello everybody, my name is Merlin and I'm an Ableton certified trainer based in Denmark. So I'm pretty new to the Warp Academy team and I'm super excited to be jumping on board and making some videos for you guys. So Vespers asked me to kick off by having a look into Simpler. Now when Live 9.5 came out a little while ago, Simpler underwent some serious developments and a lot of really interesting and creative functionality was added to this once humble instrument. So over the next few videos, we're going to have a little look at what these functions are and how we might apply them in the context of a track. So everything you're about to see, I've made available for you guys to download for free by clicking the link on the screen. And that way you can follow along now and have a deeper look after the video. So let's get right to it. So I've been working on this little idea and it has a bit of a future bass vibe going on. And it includes a vocal lead that I made using Simpler and a recording of my own voice. I thought this would be an awesome chance to show you guys a few features in Simpler. So let's have a listen to the result and then I'll show you how I made the sound. Okay, so I'm going to start off by duplicating my vocal lead so I can keep all the MIDI and processing that I've already composed. And then I'll delete the simpler patch I created. I'll disable the effects too. Now, let's listen to the recording of my voice that I made earlier. So okay, disclaimer, I'm not really much of a singer, but for this kind of thing, it really doesn't matter. And I think you'll get the idea. So I tried to play around with my voice a bit and make different timbres and I think the second take will work the best. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this audio file into my new MIDI track which will automatically create a new instance of Simpler. We're going to be working in classic mode today and I'm going to move my start point to this second sound and then I'm going to move my end point there also. The updated Simpler allows us to stretch and re-pitch the audio using Live's various warp modes. This can be a great way of getting interesting new sounds from a source recording. For now, we're going to use Complex Pro mode. This can be a great setting for melodic content like vocals. It handles glide really well and you can even play chords. Let's switch to the controls view and give our sound a slight pitch envelope. Nothing extreme, around 5 semitones, with a short decay of 123 milliseconds. Now let's go to the filter section, set the filter to high pass and dial in the frequency to around 150 hertz. Let's also select the PRD circuit. <laughs> Turning up the drive will add some harmonics to the sound. Now enable the filter envelope and set the amount parameter to full or 72. Now adding a bit of resonance will work against our pitch envelope and give a subtle popping transient to our patch. Finally, we're going to pitch up the sound a little just to get it in key with the track we're working on, as well as adding some short portamento. I've given the sound a bit more personality with a bunch of live stock plugins. I won't go into the details now, but as I said, you can download the entire project file and have a deeper look for yourselves. Cool, let's hear our sound in the context of the track again.
Great stuff. So that was just one of the ways you can use classic mode in simpler to really quickly and easily come up with some interesting sounds. Now, in the next videos, we're going to soldier on and have a look at the other two modes that Simpler presents us with. But for now, that's all I've got time for today. So, my name's been Merlin Silver, and this is Warp Academy. Thanks for watching.